Why, hello, fellow Patriots, and welcome back to the Patriot Dad channel, where we can discuss current events and modern issues, all while keeping it as real as possible. Today, we're going to be doing a reaction to Dr. Benjamin Carson's speech during day two of RNC 2024. I don't know if you know much about Dr. Carson. He was the HUD secretary under Trump before. He also is a world-renowned pediatric neurosurgeon. Seems like a pretty good guy to listen to speak. He's probably pretty intelligent. He is the epitome of the American dream. He grew up very poor to a single mother and made something of himself. But before we get started, I just wanted to let you know that during the ramp up to the 2024 election, the Rogue Dermatologists and the Patriot Dad channel are collaborating to bring you another great deal. In remembrance of the attempt on Trump's life, if you follow the link to trumpmug24.com, It'll take you straight here. Scroll down, add it to your cart, go to checkout, enter the code PDMUG, and you'll save 20%. Take advantage of this offer while it's still available. Now, back to the video. So just remember to take advantage of that offer that the Rogue Dermatologist and I are bringing. Let's get this video pulled up and let's react, shall we? Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome, doctor. You know, Sarah Huckabee always says to me, I hate to follow you, but I think she turned the table on me tonight. <laughs> I guess Sarah Huckabee Sanders I want to thank you all for being before. here and for being involved. Like many of you last week, I watched with horror as the events unfolded in that Pennsylvania field. Yeah. I saw President Trump, a dear friend, escape death by mere inches. And my thoughts immediately turn yeah. to the book of Isaiah that says, No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Biblical reference. Interesting choice. Well, let me tell you the weapons that they used. First, they tried to ruin his reputation, and he's more popular now than ever. True. So one of the things he's going to go through, it sounds like, is what Andrew Tate says all the time. First they go after your reputation, then they come after your money, then they try to throw you in jail, and if none of that works, well, guess what? We kind of saw the results of that this Saturday, didn't we? Ugh. But he's not wrong. An inch. A couple of degrees of head tilt. Like, guys, it was lined up just fine, and he just happened to look at the Jumbotron at just the correct time. Now... We still have to remember, innocent life was lost that day. Mr. Comperator needs to be remembered. That man is a hero. Every man hopes that if he's confronted with that situation, that he will rise to the task of defending their family. Man's a hero. Let's not forget him. And then they tried to bankrupt him. And he's got more money now than he had before. Name, funny. And then they tried to put him in prison. Yeah. And he's freer and has made other people free with him. And yeah. then... Navarro's out. And then last weekend, they tried to kill him. And there he is over there, alive and well. Fight, baby, fight. You know, I have no doubt that God lowered a shield of protection over President Trump. And I join millions of Americas. Hey, buddy. You want a hug and a kiss? Come here. Yes. Okay. I love you. You have a good night, okay? All right. Bye, buddy. Sorry, not sorry. And thanksgiving for President Trump's safety. And I encourage you to join me in praying each day for his continued protection. Yes, you know, absolutely. Our hearts, and everybody's Our hearts protection. go out to the victims in the audience. Let's also pray for them and their families. These yes. events have brought unusual clarity to the times we are living in. We have all... I mean, that's true, because if you look at the reaction, 
How many riots happened Saturday night and Sunday? Oh, wait. Like, the two sides are not the same, guys. They're just not. I hope the justice system can prevail in this. I hope that these investigations can turn up information that satisfies people. But the left and the right are not the same. They just aren't. No pillaging, no looting, no fires, no riots. Just a lot of people on Twitter and on other platforms asking a lot of questions because everything seems a little suspicious. And by a little, I mean like. Harbor the nagging feeling that everything we love is slipping away. All you have to do is turn on the television. The free press, a pillar of any free society, has abused the public trust and resorted to lies, deception, and disinformation. Yeah. Yeah. They divide us. And, and honestly, the public is not going to tolerate it much longer. It's becoming so obvious, at least the people that think, like with their brain. Along lines of race, class, and gender, rather than uniting us around our shared bond as Americans. Yes. Our government has been no better, shredding our constitution and upending the rule of law. We have a wide True. open border, a broken education system, and chaos breaking out around the world. And on top of it all, we have- Can we make this guy a secretary or something, please? HHS, maybe? We could bring some common sense back to health and human services. He's a doctor. Probably would be better than Ms. Levine. The president who, well, if you can't say anything good, don't say anything at all. <laughs> uh. <laughs> but ask anyone around Classy. the world, what does, it, what does it mean to be an American? Most will tell you that it means unlimited opportunity that where you begin and in life deal. doesn't dictate where you will end that that's the america i grew up in yep and no other country could a poor inner city kid See? raised by a single mom like i said make it to an ivy league school then to medical school become a successful neurosurgeon, run for president, and eventually become a member of the president's cabinet. It's true. You know, and as a member of his cabinet, I had a chance to work closely with him. And I gotta tell you, this is a man who is a gift to us as a nation. He is very gifted, he is very smart, he is very compassionate. He cares about people. And I'll tell you, the first time I met him it was before either of us got into the political arena. And someone, I, we were at Mar-a-Lago, and someone came up to him and said, Mr. Trump, Rod Stewart just walked in. And he said, I don't care. This is Ben Carson. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel blessed that I've been able to live the American dream. But my story is moving further out of reach in America today. The lessons my mother taught me, like hard work and the value of well-rounded patriotic education and faith in God above all else, Still are important. being forced out of the public square. But Still we're important. all here today because we know we can bring these things back. Yes, but one of the things we have to remember when it comes to these federal elections, guys, the president is not a king. He can set an agenda, yes, but we need to make sure that Trump has the legislative branch that he needs to support him in these endeavors. Because if you don't take the Senate and keep the House along with the presidency, it's not going to mean a whole lot. So we need to make sure to not get complacent and get out to the ballot box, make sure our friends do, make sure our family does. Make sure our coworkers do. People need to make sure to get out and vote. Don't get lazy just because you hear we're leading. That could be a psyop. They could be telling you you're ahead in the polls just to get you to not show up. Don't get lazy, folks. We need to go out and vote this November. By God's grace, we live in a country where the people rule. We have the power to choose the kind of nation we will be and the kind of men and women that will lead us. And today, the choice could not be more clear. True. The yeah, most repeated true. phrase in the Bible is this, do not be afraid or fear not. 
It appears 365 times in scripture, a reminder to live each day with faith, hope, and joy as joyful warriors for Christ. Interesting. Again, the RNC. Like, I'm not against the religious messaging, that's fine, but the RNC needs to realize it needs to be a bigger tent. We can't tell people like Amber Rose and others that they're not welcome in our party. We need to take over the Republican Party and make it a big tent. These old school Republicans that are just corrupt and not good, like, get them out. These rhinos, get them out. And we can start to include people in our party that are just patriotic. They might not have the same views as us, but you know what? If you love America and you want a better future for this republic, you should be welcome in the party. And, and when God is with us, nobody can stand against us. With That's this fact. assurance from the Almighty, even the face of evil itself cannot shake our resolve. We will keep fighting, we will keep praying, and by the grace of God, we will save our country and re-elect President Trump together with Vice President Vance this November. And so I want you, you to remember think? this. In 1831, Alexis the Ducktail came to America to study our nation because the Europeans were fascinated. They wanted to know how could a nation barely 50 years old already compete with them on virtually every level. So Freedom. he looked at our government and he was duly impressed by our checks and balances and separation of powers. And then he looked at our business environment and he was duly impressed by how we encourage entrepreneurship and innovation. Yep. And he looked at our educational system and he was blown away by the fact that he could find a mountain man in the middle of the woods who could read, who could tell him about the Declaration of Independence. But the thing that impressed him the most was when he went to our churches. And he heard those inspirational sermons from the pulpits that inspired a ragtag bunch of militiamen to defeat the most powerful army in the world and gave the American people a moral base. Yes, but religion is being pushed out. Also, what are your guys' thoughts on J.D. Vance? Do you think it was a good pick? Do you think it was the best pick? The worst pick? In the middle? Kind of good? Kind of bad? What, what do you think? Leave a comment. And, and he concluded his two-volume set, Democracy in America, with these words. Okay. He said, America is great because America is good. And if America yeah. ever ceases to be good, she will cease to be great. It is our job to make America good. And let's do this by re-electing President Trump so we can make America great. Thank you very much. Again, make America great. Again. That was a great speech, Dr. Carson. Thank you. And I hope you all enjoyed it as well. Just remember that you can support the channel by joining the Discord and participating in our community there and the discussions. You can subscribe on the Subscribe Star for more exclusive access to the Discord, including weekly discussions with me and editorial input on some of the videos that we're going to do on this channel in the future. You can support us by participating in the two collaborative offers between the Rogue Dermatologist and the Patriot Dad channel, or you can use our referral code and purchase some coffee at Coffee Brand Coffee. As a military veteran, I'm a huge fan of coffee, and his coffee is some of my favorites. So go ahead and get some. I like the number one and the number two blend. I like just black coffee. Sorry, folks. I don't really do the flavors, but there's plenty of good ones there. So thank you to those of you that made it to the end of the video. I greatly appreciate your support. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and leave a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this one on the channel, please make sure you subscribe and click the little bell icon so you can be notified when I upload additional content. If you have a recommendation for a future video or topic on the channel, please make sure you leave it in a comment below as a majority of the reaction content on this channel comes from viewers just like you. I hope you have a wonderful week. Take care of yourselves and God bless. Go ahead and check out one of the links on the screen now to either subscribe to the channel and see the rest of the videos of the channel or one of the carefully selected videos that you may wish to see that YouTube has used its algorithm to select for you.